Hello. Rich. Brian hey. Rademacher, Brian Rademacher from Rock Eyes. Hey, man, what's up? How's it going, man? Pretty good. How's your day going today? Oh, a little rough, but I'll get through it. <laughs> cool, cool. How's the weather there? Uh, decent for once. It's been hotter than hell all year. Same here in Jersey, you know. Man, what's up? So, um, tell me a little bit uh, about what's going on where angels suffer. Um, I've kind of put it off not saying anything because I don't really like to involve a bunch of people, but it's not fair to the other guys. I'm going through a health issue right now. Uh -huh. Once that's all straightened out and taken care of, we plan on getting things rolling again, you know, in cool. the studio and cut some new tracks and get something out there and back out on tour. Cool, cool. <laughs> uh, I, w I was reading that you're supposed to go on a European tour? Um, We've got quite a few things lined up, but, you know, it's all just kind of on hold right now. Right, right, right. Now, Animal started in 1988 or before that, and uh, you had three albums. Um, and Chris Landy joined the band and uh, was one of the main songwriters and stuff like that. Uh, then you put out uh, Where Angels Suffer. Uh, you put out Purgatory in 2010. Um, most of that was recorded um, before that. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we really. Uh, you know, we we just got together. There was a lot of people wanted to get us out there playing, so we just went out, and did some wasp and some of the animal things. You know. Right, and, and made that happen. So it's it just you know, like the thing with Chris Laney and Randy butted heads, and uh, so we never got to go out and play that live. You know. Right, so. right. Now, Purgatory was that just thrown together, just you know, before the tour, you know, um, just just put out there. Yeah, that's what I. I didn't really have a lot to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> that was some of Piper's doings. <laughs> right, right. Um, you know. So that was just thrown out there, just uh, like for an advance, uh, so people get to hear what uh, the band sounds like. Exactly, yeah. Cool, cool. Um, is Ira Black still part of the band? No, he's not. Right, is there a second um, guitar? As far as, yeah, as far as, right now we haven't made up our mind whether we want to go with another guitar player or just, you know, let Chris do it all and go from there. Cool, cool, I mean, cool. If I had my choice, uh, Chris Laney would be the other guitar player. Great, great. He's a great songwriter. <laughs> but song I know Chris too. is, yeah, he's, he's, he's busy as can be. He's got all kinds of things going on, you know. But like you said, Chris is a great songwriter and producer. Right, right, right. That's awesome. Cool, cool. Yeah. Now, I, I heard you have, uh, like, a ritual before you uh, warm up to start singing. Is that true? Um, used to, years ago. Uh -huh. Back then, I still smoked, so it was like I had to drink some hot sauce or something. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> I'd get up the hot sauce and, like, gulp down and just roast my voice. <laughs> then it'd come out working fine. Cool, cool. Now I just use the first song to warm up. Now, I uh, I was uh, talking to Chris Laney today, and he made a post on, uh, I think, your Facebook, uh, measuring uh, you got the best voice in rock these days. Uh, what's the feeling like when a, another musician says something about that to you? That's, that's uh, I mean, it's a huge compliment, man, you know. I've, I've, over the years, I've had people say, you remind me of Ronnie James or Bon Scott or different people, and that's, you know, I take it as a compliment, you know? Cool. Those guys were all awesome. <laughs> I listened to all those guys. Chris Laney is, like I said, I I love the guy. He's awesome, and you know, I love working with him. Want to work with him again eventually, you know. Cool, cool. Now, has any um, songs been written yet for the next album at all? Um, Chris Holmes has some guitar riffs, and I've got some lyrics together. We haven't actually gotten to get together and really iron anything out yet but yeah we've got some we've got some stuff in the works so uh do you foresee anything being released this year it'll be rough because the stuff i'm dealing with right now it's going to be 
probably November before I'm feeling good enough to do much, right, you know. Right, right. So uh, it, it, it'll be more like probably beginning of next year, I would think. Cool, cool. Can I ask how, how you doing? How? Yeah, how you doing, you know, physically, mentally? Oh, oh. Mentally is the worst. Physically, it's rough. <laughs> mentally, I'm just whacked anyway, and then you have to add this on top of it. Wow. So. Wow. wow. Um, has there been any... I'll be fine, though. Cool, cool. Very cool. Any labels approaching the, the band at all? We haven't even, like I said, with, with what all's been going on, we're just kind of putting it off, but there's... We've got interest from a lot of different things, you know, so... Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Basically, just like I said, waiting around until I'm well enough to do things again, and then we're all going to hook back up down at Stets and go from there, you know. Cool, cool. He, he's definitely a major force that uh, force in the in this band being pushed. Uh, I mean, I read his posts all the time, uh, you know, talking about the band. I see that uh, Where Angels Suffer got a new uh, official website out, up now, um, which yeah. is just the beginning stages of it, and um, it's looking pretty good. Um can you go into any of the problems you had with uh, Piper? Um, I don't really like to badmouth people. He just, let's just say the rest of us all get along great, had a blast out on the road and worked together, and he didn't seem to agree with anything. So he just felt it best that we move on, you know? Right, so the major reason why you just didn't get along. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you don't ever foresee him working again with the band, do you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty easy question. <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, so, what what do you do now in uh, you know your spare time? Well, I was going to put a little local band together here just to have something to do for fun and. But uh, just not up to it, man. I just thought I could do it, but I, nah, you know, a little too rough right now. Right, right. You don't so. think about retiring, do you? Hell no. <laughs> 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 no. As soon as I'm uh, comfortable enough to get out there again, I'm out there, man. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Well, so you know, what's the favorite part uh, about being in music for you? I, you know, I grew up singing Brian Man, and I just I always loved it. And then some real good friends of mine when I was younger got me in a band and playing out in front of people and everybody digging it and then hanging out with people afterwards. It's just, that's to me, is a blast. Right, right. Um, I enjoy I enjoy recording in the studio, too. I, you know, I, I really just like all of it. Worked with some buddies of mine here in town that are trying to get something going uh, Mighty Swine they're called and uh, the singer is an old friend of mine we actually played in a band together he asked if I would come by and produce the vocals on a couple tracks for him yeah cool, cool. I always thought about doing that too so that was kind of fun I learned a little from Chris Laney you know <laughs> cool, cool 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 when you went over to uh, do Sweden Rock how was that? Sweden Rock? oh yeah. it was great figured yeah. that yeah, no. that was a blast uh, yeah, we played with Grizzly, Nala Polson, and Johan. Mm -hmm. Great, both great players. Cool, cool. Is m music financially rewarding? Not really. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it, it can be, but I don't think in this day and age it's nothing like it used to be. You know what I mean? Because I mean, you put out a CD and. A half an hour later, after the first copies bought, it's all over the internet. So, you know, what I mean? right. you basically just have to give it away. Right. But uh, do you feel do you need a, a label at all, really, to to make it in this uh, business anymore? I don't think so. I think you get a distribution deal, and you know, and and decent publicist and management, and just get out there and tour. I and mean, that's but most people. They'll copy. They'll get a copy off the internet, but then if they're there live with you, hanging out, and you put on a good show for them, they dig it. Then they want to buy a copy from you there. You know. Right. Right. 
because they want everybody signing it, and so, so that works out. Cool, cool. Now, Chris Holmes was dormant for so long. How, how'd you get him out of, uh, you know, wherever he was? Like, no one could get in touch with him and, and everything else, and all of a sudden he pops up, you know, where angels suffer. Well, I've known Chris forever, you know, and he played with uh, Stet for years, too, so it really wasn't that hard, you know. We we know of whoever Chris hangs out with. Um, Stet's good friend, Joe Sutton, uh-huh. was working with was working with Chris out in L.A., so it was like, it was pretty easy for Stet to get a hold of Joe and say, hey, that's what Chris is doing if he wants to do this, you know. Wow. Very cool, very cool. So what's the future, like, look for you right now? It looks like I can't wait to get done doing what I'm doing right now so uh-huh. I can go back to playing music and touring, man. That's that's what I love, you know. Very cool, very cool. Well, I congratulate you on your success with Where Angels Will Suffer. Uh, would you, oh, would appreciate you, it, man. Would you like to say anything to your fans out there? Yeah, hang in there. Don't Don't get down on us for not being out there in a while. I know it sucks, but trust me, when we get back out, we'll be as bad as ever. Great, man. <laughs> Maybe better. Thanks a lot for talking. All right. Thanks, Brian, man. Talk to you later, man. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.